remind people of this that have influence. When you have influence, you do have to be mindful of a lot of the things. And, and, and it's and that's it's, true. And it's not because this is something that you signed up. Okay, now this now we now the spirits is working. <laughs> girl, girl, you want me to move it? Girl, yes. We're gonna put it over there, girl. <laughs> Put it close to those African deities over there. Don't do that. Because first of all, our deities are very strong. I know. <laughs> We're going to be talking about you Africans the, in this. Hold on. One, one second. Let, let me look you dead in your eyes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can play the saw game if you want to with me. Okay. <laughs> You can play the saw game if you want to with me. I know. I know. I don't, now I don't know what you're talking about. But you better not. <laughs> Are you sure that's the route you want to take with me, girl? No, no, I've, no. I've already been rumored. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's already been a, a rumor, honey, that I know, but I definitely know. <laughs> no comment. Right. <laughs> it was passed down to me from the ancestors, honey. <laughs> Where you are. So I just received this and I, from Twitter. Open it up, make my thing big, or oh, make the, make my phone for. <laughs> I gotta watch what I say. Right. <laughs> you know. Let's go to the first. Is that the first? No, go to where I didn't respond. Go to the one oh, where this I. One? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Craig, are you watching? Are you looking at this? Here, here's the computer over here till you get over here wrong. I'm looking. Here it is. He says. I love and support you dearly, and I love your strength for yourself and others. I understand you don't control others, i.e. Craig, and his derogatory comments about those who have HIV AIDS, but it is problematic. Affiliating him with him is becoming a stain on, next slide, please. On you. It's just a stain on you. Oh, on you. And so I went back and I said, what did he say? And then he said, maybe I'm the dumb one and okay I guess um, Craig is always talking about gay supporting each other when it comes to toxic interactions and not letting those who speak ill of us get a pass but then mention in a very non-sensitive and flippant flippant mention those with HIV and AIDS now Craig I have wait open this oh sorry Go ahead. open this <laughs> Before you say anything, I want I want I want the record to show. We're gonna we're gonna go back to that episode because I'm thinking he's talking about this episode. You know, that was the time that it was it was special. You didn't just fuck anybody raw. Now it's like people don't care. The gays definitely don't care. Like, the gays they never gave a fuck. Child, but they, they, the gays they never gave a fuck. But at least when that epidemic came through and did a supermarket, what for us? <laughs> It ain't funny. Where, where, when the where, epidemic where, came through. When the epidemic did what? Came through, did a supermarket sweep and started gathering us and putting us in the checkout line. Now, I'm going to pause for, for, for a moment because I think I'm in good company right there. I'm not the, I'm not the only one that's speaking. Hold your, hold your comment, though. We're going to continue. Hold on. <laughs> when the epidemic came through, started sweeping the girls up Baby. and putting us in the checkout box. Girl, can I say it? Hold on. Now I don't. I'm gonna pause one more time. Now I don't know if he saw the same thing I saw. Maybe we look very much alike. But right here, right here, right here, Carolyn, you're driving the bus. I'm just listening and laughing. Hold on. Can I put us in the car and take us away from here? Now, 
Now, once again, I'm just listening and laughing. <laughs> I haven't said 15 words. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I asked the question. I said, "What gathered us up?" The A. Okay, okay. Let's let's continue listening. I get talking with yes, the A. We begin to start to be like, "Hey, hey, hey!" Oh my god! Oh my god! We only started to get more and more promiscuous once prep became. Listen. And y'all done lost your goddamn mind. We became more and more promiscuous once the prep started to come into play. And don't let a bitch tell you she's undetectable. <laughs> okay, now, 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 this is my first statement. But, but, but here's what we have to understand. That is true. Now listen, if the children that are undetectable tell you that they're undetectable, they're saying that because they want you to know that I'm safer, quote unquote, and you can and, and you don't have to I, because I'm going to say this within the HIV community. There is a hierarchy. They've created a hierarchy. Those that are undetectable feel like they're more privileged, for lack of a better word, than those who are not undetectable. But who said that? How do you how do you know? I've that? seen it. I've seen it. I'm just talking from my own experience. So this is from your from your perspective. From my perspective. From your perspective, from your experience. From my experience. And then just seeing different conversations on Twitter, on uh 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 Jacked, when I used to be on Jack, there were conversations where it was like, oh, um I I'm undetectable though. Okay. You know, that they they they're, they're well, at least they're disclosing this the status. Correct. And that's fine. Unlock this, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's fine. But my thing is, they definitely try to make a distinction. And I understand that there's a difference between undetectable. It, yes, come on, um, Mr. R-E-X-X. -R it's a, um, they, they, they make the distinction. What did he say? Where did his comment go? Unspoken. Unspoken status quo. Th thank you. Come on, somebody. You're picking up what I'm putting down. But let's continue to listen to the audio. <laughs> So here I am being blamed. <laughs> here I am being blamed. No, I'm not. I'm not blaming you. Listen, girl, it's over. She undetectable, and you won't prep today. Right. This is what you girls don't understand. Today, that is correct. You're undetectable today. Yes. It doesn't mean you're gonna be undetectable tomorrow or next week. The levels may change. Yeah, and, 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 and that's, that's true. If you misdiagnosed it, and you're not running blood checks before you're fucking. I mean, wait. <laughs> I mean, and that is true. Now, nothing in that statement that we said was not was was false. Correct. Because you know, undetectable status doesn't doesn't last, girl. Unless, unless you are, unless you are on your regimen, you correct. are continually on your regimen or whatever. Now, sat satirically, uh huh, we were. <laughs> poking and having fun, but we were also educating in that correct in, in that same retrospect. We were. Craig was. <laughs> I did say that there was a, a time when the epidemic did because the epidemic did come through. Gather the girls up, honey, like a supermarket sweep. Put us in a basket and we're checking us out. However, due to the way that Magic Johnson, uh huh came out and was talking about his status or whatever, which he became the face of this. And then once he became the face of, of that and the, and the, and the pharmaceutical companies understood how important it was for our community, for the black community, because we are, we are, yeah, come on. We are at, we are a, we are definitely high in numbers. Come on. According to the CDC. Mm-hmm. We are high in numbers and, and, and high in numbers and, in black women. And so therefore, because of all of this stuff, the way that the pharmaceutical companies started making changes and advancements into the way that AIDS and HIV research has happened, there- Shell, I'm coming for you after she's done. Go ahead. There are, there are medications in place that were like prep, that comes in pill form and 
mm-hmm. injectables, injectables that are ha- ha- having people where you either, if you have it, it's manageable. And if you don't have it, you'll never get it. Right. Oh, uh, a dra- the dragon did, had, he did reply. This, this is what he had to say. Oh, just now? Yeah, right here. Oh, it's where? Oh, he said, I didn't say his statements were false. Craig just makes statements like this quite often with, and with a lot of vitriol. Oh, well, I'm going to need receipts for that because I don't know what you're talking about. Now, Craig, I do tap you on your shoulder a bit a, a few times, and I'd be like, "Girl, don't do that." Don't do what? First of all, first, first of all, don't, don't be trying. Don't, first of all, don't be trying to jump on here with him because no, I'm not on his side. But I do tap you just the same way I tap you on your shoulder with your with your with your, with, with, with where you have your comments about white people. Well, listen, it's the truth. Here's the thing, and I'm gonna say this, and then I'm coming for you, Shell. The, can we well, can we just run the fag talk music? You know what? You know I what? Need, oh, we just, let me get this over is here. Awful. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to reposition the camera because Craig is being we're, is being annihilated over here and, and taking me down with the blimp. So be, <laughs> <laughs> let's get ready for some fag talk. You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes. This hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular hot ass gossiper. Oh, honey. I was born a fag. And so are you. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. Say it again. I am rich. You're what? That's right, girl. T H A G. Popular. Hot ass. Gospel. Hey, that's right. Yes. I mean, sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not the other one. But that counts. Hey girl, what is this? Claw Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes! Thank you. You met me as, as me. Yes. yes. Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes! This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Hello. <laughs> Anything come for me? Anything come for me? Obviously, they were. De- you were definitely trying to get them to come for me. <laughs> oh no, you were you were stirring the people no, up. I didn't it. stir the people up. I only I only. I only showed you what I was getting on Twitter. <laughs> you, you you didn't put that man. Let, let me not say man because he might be non-binary. Yes, just like I'm also because you like put I'm, you put them no, just like comment. I'm also going to address. I'm going to address it how I've gotten dragged about some shit you said about Miss Netta. <laughs> Let me just say this: sometimes the truth is so pure that it stings. Now, Shell, let me start with you, niece. <laughs> I've been working with Madison for what we met in 2017. Oh my god! Yeah. And so for you to say that I've been craving fame, that's hilarious to me because for one, when I first started working with her, I was always hiding off camera. But see, when 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 the universe or God calls you into your purpose, it doesn't matter how you run and hide. The universe is going to move you to the center because that's where the universe wants you. So. When we used to do the show, I would be whispering. I didn't want her to hear me. I, I mean, I, I didn't want you all to hear me. I would be, just be trying to pass a note to Madison. I'm like, here, here's this, here's the story. And she'd be like, Craig, what you saying? What you saying? So for you to say that I just want fame, yeah, you can keep that. Now, as far as, what's the guy's name? King Dragon or what was it? Uh, or the King person. Dragon, let, me yeah. say, let me say person because I don't want to say God. See, we live in such a politically correct world. You can't say anything. But see, I refuse to be muzzled. 
I refuse to be muzzled. But you have to be mindful too. And I do try to be mindful. It, okay, so there's a difference, difference in between being muzzled and being mindful. I try my best to be mindful. And, and the thing is, no matter how politically correct you are, whenever you say something, there's always going to be somebody that's going to be offended. And when you're talking about the LG, see, let me say this. When you talk about difficult conversations, it's important to have difficult conversations. I'm really clear about what my life's purpose is, what my life's work is. I believe God has called me to bridge communities, whether it's the gay men and trans women, black and white people, um, you know, on and on and on. But I speak a lot about race, but here's the truth. I believe that there are instances that, that there are white folks who don't want to have conversations, who are really interested in bridging the gap, but they don't even want to have conversations with black people because we're so, we're so uh, sensitive that when you have a difficult conversation, it's important to be mindful that you're going to say things that are going to hurt people's feelings out of ignorance, out of just trying to learn. I've said to you before, I've known trans people long before I met Madison. I wrote and produced a stage play. There was a trans woman in that play. I worked with two different trans women. I've learned more about trans identity through her because she's so open and, and like when you ask things, you have to be able to ask the questions that you really want to know. But you can't be so sensitive. And I think the reason that we've learned so much about tra the trans community is because people like her are so open and willing to entertain and answer questions. But if you have a trans person that doesn't want to answer questions and they feel like you're trying to, you know, say something to really uh, challenge their identity, and like that's the only way that we learn. 